You guys, I wanted to do a natural eyeshadow look. This came out and this is not natural, but who cares? Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to today's video and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my 2018 reading goals. I wanted to do a video like this last year, but then it was already February, almost two months of 2017 had happened and I was like, I'm way, way too late with this video. I think I did make one in 2016. If I did, I will leave a link here somewhere on the screen so you can watch that video, but I just really thought it would be fun to do this again for 2018. I first off want to start with like the general reading goals that I have and then I'm going in depth in more specific ones. So let's start off with the first basic goal and that is how many books I want to read this year because every single year I partake in the Goodreads reading challenge. I know a lot of people are, have very mixed feelings about this challenge because they can push themselves way too much sometimes. I personally set a very realistic goal for me. I have achieved this goal for almost every single year since I started doing it and I think 2014, especially in 2017, I think I initially set my goal at 20 books, which is very low. I mean, I have very, very low reading goals compared to other YouTubers who have goals of like 100 books. Like I will never be able to read that many books in a year. I read about two to four books each month. It truly depends on how many things I have to do for university and school. Um, I have read until so far 27 books in 2017, but for 2018, I want to try and read 30 books. It's a little bit more than I did this year, but I feel like sometimes I did not push myself enough to read. And again, I come here with that word push. It's not really push, but sometimes I was watching Netflix just way too much or only watching YouTube tutorials on makeup or on book videos while I could have read myself. I'm just way too much on social media and I need to cut it off a little bit and finally start reading because then I would easily reach 30 books. So let's do that in 2018. Then <laughs> I want to restrict my book buying. So I want to buy a maximum of 30 books this year, which is still a lot of books, I know. But considering how many books I bought this year, I think I have bought about like 50 to 70 books this year, which is ridiculous because like I said, I've only read 27. So I buy way too many books for my reading pace, which is not good. I have way too many books on my TBR and I keep buying more and more books. So I need to stop myself from doing that a little bit. And I also need to start saving some more money because I am a student right now. I don't have a job. All the money that I get is from my parents, my grandparents, or from the government, so <laughs> I should stop spending it that much. But right now, let's get into the more like specific goals. So first of all, I want to read five LGBTQ slash diverse books. I feel like I've already read quite some diverse books this year, but I definitely want to pick up The Hate You Give. I still haven't read that one. I started it, but then I just sort of was like, mm, not really feeling it right now. So right now I'm reading a Release by Patrick Ness, which has that incorporated in it. So I'm already starting off my year with good things. So that is a goal. Then I also want to read five, this is 10, five fairy loot books that I've received in my fairy loot boxes. I think until so far, I've only read one of my seven fairy loot books that I've received, so that is not good. Either the books that I've already received, I want to pick some up of that pile, or the ones that are coming in my fairy loot boxes. I'm also questioning if I should continue with the fairy loot subscription box because it is 40 euros a month. Like I said, I'm a student, I should save up a little more. I really like the boxes that I've had until so far, but it just, it's a lot of money, you know, and I should consider you know, what I want to buy more these days. Then another more specific goal, I want to finish the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab. Look guys, I made a gorgeous little tiny piece of artwork on the book. I did not continue with it, but I wanted to do sort of like the skyline of London. I started the first book in the beginning of the year and I'm gonna make another video of my best and worst books of 2017, but I can give you a little spoiler that I really enjoyed this one. This book is about this fantasy world where you have four parallel Londons, gray, white, black, and red London, and they all have kind of like different magic systems. You have like a red London, which is full of magic. It's a very fun world in my mind. Then you have gray London, which is kind of like our world. You have a white London where magic is like actually a really kind of bad thing. It's not like as festive and celebrated as it is in red London. And uh, black London is a very dark world where like 
oh it's just a really scary world and i loved the first book i've heard that it's like some people thought it was very slow but i just immediately was immersed into the in the writing style and in the world it just warms my heart so i want to continue with it and finish this in 2018 because i am really bad at starting and completing series i just i need to do it i just i start book one and then i it takes me so long to finish a series it's really bad next up another specific goal and that is to restart or finish a Sarah J Mass series. I started my reread of Akatar this year. I finished it. I started my reread of Akamath. I read 100 pages and then I wasn't feeling it anymore so I still have it right there and I need to continue on with it. And then I wanted to read A Court of Wings and Ruin. I've heard it's not that great but I want to finished the series. Like, I was so excited for A Court of Wings and Ruin. It was my most anticipated read of 2017. I still haven't picked it up, and that just sucks so much. But something that I've been saying for two years, you guys, I swear, like, one and a half, two years? I don't know how long, is that I want to continue on with the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I absolutely loved Crown of Midnight when I read it. I was obsessed. Like, <clears throat> I want to- <laughs> that was aggressive. I really want to reread this book because it's just one of my favorite fantasy books. Like, I adored it. I loved it so much. And then I started Era of Fire during the summer and I read the first 70 pages and I was like, am I reading a book from the same series? Am I reading the third book? Am I- what is going on? It was confusing me so much. So then I stopped and Ever since summer, two years ago maybe, I've been telling myself to continue on with it and I haven't and I totally need to. And then last but not least, I want to reread one or two Harry Potter books because I just I cannot get enough of Harry Potter and especially now that I have the illustrated editions of the first three books, I really want to reread the series again in this kind of format. I've also never read the English books. I've only read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in English right now, but I definitely want to read the second and third book in English as well. It just, the enjoyment is so much bigger when you read it in English instead of my native language, which is Dutch. Everything just makes so much more sense. The puns are so much better. The characters' names are so much better. Everything is just so much better. I don't know what illustrations are inside. I've kept it a surprise for me, so I just want to see what's inside and uh, it just makes me feel really magical when I read this type of book. So those were my general and specific goals for 2018. Let me know in the comments down below what your goals are. I really want to know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address. Links to that will all be in the description box down below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.